Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ebony Monet for those of you who are new. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning back into this video. In this video, I'm going to be going over uh, week 6 to 8 for my pregnancy update. So if you guys are interested in seeing all the new updates that I have for you guys, then just stay tuned. <laughs> All right, you guys, so like I said, this video is pertaining to week six through eight. Um, I believe, I know for sure I did week four. Um, I have a good feeling that I did week five. I'm not sure if I edited it yet. Um, just because I've just been so tired and so sick but we'll get into all of that but i'm pretty sure i recorded weeks five if i didn't then we're just going to skip week five um so originally i was going to make an update for each week and post a video that way but i figured it was just the way things been going um i know i'm not going to be in a mood to record every week even though it doesn't sound like a lot like oh you're just recording like once a week um and, you know, honestly, even though it isn't a lot, um, it seems like a lot to me. And I know it would definitely feel like a lot to me. Um, and besides that, I feel like that would be a lot of uploads. Um, and then I don't want you guys to get, like, bored with, like, all the pregnancy updates. And also, um, you know, my channel isn't just strictly about pregnancy. I have a lot of different things on my channel um and of course i'll make you know a playlist for um pregnancy videos but i just didn't want it to be like too much and overwhelming for people so i think i'm going to just make videos for three weeks um together in one video so like i said this will be for weeks six through eight um so yeah let's just hop right into it all right so the reason i decided to record today was because i had to get out of the house today and i had to um, make a stop somewhere so that was the first thing that got me out of bed today and then you know i had to throw on clothes of course so i feel like i look halfway decent enough to record a video um so I am here. If I didn't do it now, I was going to just keep putting it off and putting it off. Um, so week six, I'm going to just go off of the notes that I have in my phone. Um, I have sore breasts slash nipples. And let me see. I'm looking at weeks four. I'm looking at weeks four. Five. So it looks like the sore breast started around week five. But continuing into week six, I still had the sore breast slash nipples. Um, and I still experience I'm still experiencing that till this day right now. Um I can just like when I'm asleep, I find myself constant constantly like switching sides. Because I personally like to sleep on my stomach, but, you know, common sense will tell you that as you're getting bigger, you can't really um, sleep on your stomach the way you used to. And I really, I mean, I still can, but in order for me to, like, sleep on my stomach, I got to, um, I got to have my leg like bent a certain way so I'm not laying strictly on my stomach like it's tilted up a little bit if that makes any sense but throughout the night I found myself like tossing and turning um just trying to find like excuse me just trying to find like a comfortable position for myself um and as I like toss and turn I feel like I'm laying like when I'm laying on my stomach um I just feel how tender my breasts are and my nipples are very tender and sore as well like to the touch um I mean of course like I can touch them but like if I was to like do this and like swipe them or rub them they're tender that doesn't really feel good 
um especially when i get in the shower when the water is hitting it uh that's like the worst so um i have two washcloths so i use one of the washcloths to just lay like right on my chest as if it's like a two top um so when the water hits me it's it's hitting like the the washcloth and not my nipples directly so that's definitely something that i was going through in week six um week six whoo y'all know that can be a double number right when it's three sixes in a row six 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 yeah week six was definitely a devil week for me this is where it all started so week six is when I actually felt pregnant. Like, I'm talking sickness. Oh my God. Just the thought of it is like making me cringe. The thought of it is making me sick to be quite honest with you because, and I'm still going through that till this day. Like this very second right now while I'm recording I feel okay um today is definitely one of the better days I'm not a hundred percent but when I feel like this I feel like I'm like I'm like 80 percent if I didn't have that little 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 teeny feeling still like in my stomach slash this area of me feeling a little sick like I will be a hundred percent but I still like have that sick feeling kind of so on days where i feel like this when i'm like 80 percent i feel good i'm like okay you know i can i can do some things today i can get some things done like i can clean up a little bit i could do the dishes a little bit you know i could go sit on a couch watch tv i'm all right you know again i'm not a hundred percent but i'm okay and then, you know, I have days where I'm just sick to my stomach. Like, no exaggeration. Sick to my stomach. Week six is where it all started. The nausea. Um, I don't think I had thrown up in week six. I don't think I actually threw up until I was... Uh... I don't think I actually threw up until I was like eight weeks. Um, but I had that constant feeling of nausea. I had the feeling that I was going to throw up, but nothing was actually like coming up. Um, yeah, it was just bad. It was bad for the first, maybe for the first like week of week six. I was like in the bed like could barely could move like if i turn anyway i just oh my god it was so bad y'all like <sighs> i was on a crackers diet and not that you know i don't want to call it a diet but since i was so sick like i also i didn't really have an appetite for anything and still to this day i really don't have like a huge appetite it's progressively getting better but still i really don't have a big appetite um you know in the middle of me eating things i may lose my appetite and not even finish my food still so i just can't wait until the day comes where all the sickness is gone and like i have my regular appetite again and i can eat like the normal me because i like to eat you know what i'm saying but during this time now i can truly 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 understand you know i remember hearing some people saying like i lost weight in the beginning of my pregnancy and i always thought well how do you lose weight in the beginning of your pregnancy if you're pregnant like you're pregnant that right there will put weight on you like you're eating for two you know not that the baby's big in the beginning but like you know still like i just figured a pregnant woman they eat like how can you lose weight but i understand now because if you're sick you don't really have an appetite and you don't really want to eat food so 
now I understand like I probably I'm not sure if I lost pounds I don't have a scale in my house so I wouldn't know but honestly I may have lost like a pound or two maybe or maybe a pound I don't know but I know I haven't been eating that much and that's because of just the sickness I don't even want to talk I don't even want to talk about it no more it was terrible um let's see yeah I wrote down hungry but no appetite get turned off while eating um week six it looks like that's when I started to experience the heartburn feeling um so anybody that's had heartburn you know what it is um, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to sit here and explain it. But in the simplest way is like, say if you eat something spicy or whatever, um, it, it, it like messes with your stomach in a way. Like it feels like it's like, I'm sure it's coming from your stomach. Like it is. So it feels like it, your stomach is doing something. It feels like your stomach is like burning in a sense. And then it like comes up your esophagus and like you can just feel it like just all through here. It's like a burning sensation. Like <laughs> not burning as if like semis put, I don't know. It's basically it's just a burning sensation and you would know what it is like if you've ever had heartburn before. Um... And, like, I'm pretty sure you can get it, like, if you eat and then lay straight down. Like, I mean, you're not supposed to do that anyway. But I think, like, that's one of the ways you can maybe get it. But, um, like, I've had heartburn before. But, like, not, it wouldn't be, like, an all-the-time thing with me. But I have had it before. That's why I know that it, it is heartburn. Um, but, yeah, week six, I think that introduced me to heartburn again. And it was, like, daily. So, like... When I would eat, I'm not sure. And it probably it probably was me eating and then laying down right after. Or even me eating and then slouching down right after. Like, you're not supposed to really do either. You're supposed to sit up or walk around or whatever. At least for like an hour before you decide to like slunch over or lay down. Because your food needs to digest. So, it probably was me doing one or the other. Um... I, I wouldn't say it was the foods that I was eating because like I said, I eat like I eat and I don't really get heartburn like that. So I think it's just like a pregnancy thing and you know, it could have been the foods that I'm eating now, you know, now I'm pregnant, it's affecting me. But heartburn was definitely like a daily thing and it's so uncomfortable. Like, oh my goodness, it's so uncomfortable you literally like I can't I can only speak for myself when I felt it it's like when it was time for me if I wanted to take a nap or if it was time for me to go to sleep like I literally I could not lay down because it was so um it's just such an uncomfortable feeling like uh, it's, it's so uncomfortable so you know if I wanted to take a nap or if I was ready to go to sleep at night I would have to prop my pillows up and kind of fall asleep like sitting up and that's what I would do and yeah I would like slouch I would like you know lay down a little bit but yeah I would basically have to go to sleep like that um because it was so uncomfortable um let's see can't let my thumb get hungry got a snack on something right away otherwise yeah all right so something else that I experienced in week six um you know how like when you get hungry, your stomach kind of like gets you ready to be hungry? Like literally, your stomach will get you ready to be hungry. Like first it will, you know, do its little growl. And then you'll be like, alright, I'm hungry. Hold on, I gotta get my gum out. So it'll do its little growl. And then maybe, you know, some time will pass and it'll growl even more. Some time will pass and then you just feel hungry as hell. You're like, all right, I really got to eat. But the point that I'm making is it leads up to a point where you're like starving. The feeling I was having, 
I ain't getting no type of warning that I was about to be hungry. My stomach ain't like my when my stomach got empty or when I was hungry, it was like empty immediately, like starving immediately, like can't wait type stuff. Like, and I know for me, like before, if I'm hungry and I can't eat right away, like it's cool. Like I'll eat a piece of gum or I'll snack on something smaller. Even if I just had to hold off for another hour or two, like I'll just be hungry. Like I'm good. Not with this pregnancy. No, no, no. Like I said, when I got hungry, I got hungry immediately. I felt like I was starving. Literally felt like I would pass out or die if I didn't eat right then and there. And yeah, I know that sounds very extra, but I'm literally letting you know how I feel because my body is changing in so many ways it's crazy so yeah I would get that excessive hunger feeling and I would have to eat something like quick fast and in a hurry so um due to like the nausea and due to that little situation right there me being hungry like ASAP um I kept crackers on my nightstand um they also say pretzels is supposed to help with sickness but i never got around to buying crackers first i had wrist crackers then i um bought saltine crackers um and then i started to snack on like dry cereal so like i would have those things sitting on my nightstand so when you know i felt that excessive hunger um i would have something quick to grab to eat it um also, it was good to have snacks on the side of my bed because they also said that nausea could also come from um, hunger. So even before you kind of feel yourself getting hungry, like just snack on something to minimize like that nausea. Um, what else? Oh, um, in early, like in week six in... Kind of like through week seven, it maybe it wore off like the end of week seven or the early week eight. Um, but definitely week six and week seven, um, those hunger pains would like wake me up in the middle of my sleep, and I would try to sleep through it because who wants to get up and just snack on stuff in the middle of the night? So, and it was so annoying, I would try to sleep through it, but I, I couldn't. And even to this day, it's not as bad as it used to be. But as an example, like even this morning, um, early in the morning, like seven something, um, I, uh, I had to wake up. I was trying to sleep through it, but I had to wake up. I had to make myself some oatmeal because I was just hungry. Um, and once I ate the oatmeal, I think I snacked on, um, it's called a pecan roll or something like that. I ate one of those. And then I was able to like chill and relax. Now I thought I would go back to sleep, but I didn't. Um, but even still, like right after that, I was hungry again. But yeah, that's something else that I experienced in week six. Um, what else? Yeah, I already told you guys that I was snacking on crackers and drinking ginger ale. Um, I wasn't really into water like that because of the sickness like when you feel sick you don't really want to like sometimes water can a good example like when you're sick from drinking and you're drunk as hell some people don't want to drink water because they know that's going to make them throw up same exact thing so when i felt sick i didn't really want to drink a lot of water because it just turned me off i didn't want to up the sickness um and another thing me i'm the queen of drinking room temperature water okay um number one is better for you than ice cold water because ice cold water like shocks your body the inside and you know i can't get too much into it because i don't really know but i do know that room temperature water is obviously better for you so i could drink room temperature water any day with this pregnancy no i don't know what it is room temperature water is just not appealing to me right now like it has to be ice cold water it's crazy it has to be ice cold water so 
oh and the last thing for week six i got waking up in the middle of the night so it was kind of difficult for me like sleeping throughout the night i would just wake up randomly and just stare at the wall um i don't know why well the nurse did say um that's because of like my hormones and stuff so i guess it's because of the hormones there you go but yeah i would just randomly wake up in the middle of the night maybe stay for an hour hour and a half I don't know, I would just go on my phone and wait till I got tired and fell asleep. Moving on to week six, I mean week seven. I didn't write too much down for week seven because I guess I was basically still going through the same stuff. Um, all I wrote down was the heartburn again and a very uncomfortable feeling. So pretty much I was still going through the same stuff in week seven, nothing has really changed. Um, in week eight, Yes, that's the week that I actually, that vomit actually came up. So, um, I was brushing my teeth and I think this is when it started. Like, yeah, week eight. So, I threw up in the morning because I was brushing my teeth and, um, my gag reflexes became very strong in week eight so like you know it's essential to brush your tongue ladies and gents okay i feel like that's where all the stank is at is on your tongue so i can brush my tongue till about here like i can do that but when i go back to brush my tongue and like maybe the tip of my toothbrush touches my um i don't know what that little thing is called but when it touches that or even if it doesn't touch that because it's pretty far back but i guess just when my toothbrush goes back to a certain point it just ugh, it makes me gag something crazy and yeah week eight is week eight is when i actually threw up while i was brushing my teeth and yeah that wasn't fun at all um and it's happened several times after that as well and um yeah it hasn't been fun so you know i still gotta get the back of my tongue so like instead of brushing like you know regularly i may just do it slow like this so i'm watching how far my toothbrush is going back i even try to scrape my tongue with my nail excuse me um mouth washes uh very important at this point because i found that like since i can't get as far back as i want to i feel like my breath not that my breath is stinking <laughs> excuse me not that my breath is stinking but i can like i can taste like i have a nasty taste on the back of my tongue because i can't freaking get it as good as i want to and it's just is it's a struggle um um so no sickness in the day right at night a lot of gas oh yeah um and also i've been having a lot of gas a lot a lot of gas whether it's coming out the back end or whether it's coming out of uh, my mouth I've been having a lot of gas. I've been burping a lot and farting a lot. Okay. Um, and yeah, it's probably only gonna get worse. I feel bad for Rock. Poor thing. But um, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Um, this was kind of a long video, but um, they're probably gonna be around this length because I am gonna start to combine um weeks together. Um but yeah, so I will continue to document things, um, write things down, and the next video to come should be weeks 9 through 12. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that and look forward to that. And as always, I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, the bump, whatever you want to call it. Right now, my, th my stomach um, is getting bigger but still very early on so you know it's not round or anything i don't really look pregnant or anything 
Um, at this point, because it's getting bigger, I just look like I'm getting fatter. So my stomach just looks like a, a stomach. So it is currently 12.51. Um, I've had some breakfast already and had a little meal. So this is what it is looking like from the front. This is what it's looking like from this side. And yeah, I got black on and my background is black. So. Put my hand right there. I don't know. Can y'all get the true? I'll put my jean jacket right here. And see if y'all could. I just don't want it to blend in with the background. That's it from the side. And. This is my stomach from the other side. So that's what I'm looking like. You can see a little difference, but nothing major. Um, today, I am currently um, nine and a half or so weeks. So in um, two days, I will be 10 weeks. So yeah. That's what the stomach is looking like, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of the family. Um, and also, so you guys can, um, if you're interested in these pregnancy videos, I'll have more, plenty more pregnancy videos and updates to come. So that is another reason why you want to subscribe to the channel um make sure to turn your post notifications on that is the little bell right underneath of this video so if you are watching it in full screen you want to click out of full screen go to the bottom of the video and you'll see a little bell just click that bell that'll turn your post notifications on so you're sure to never miss another upload from me with that i'll see you guys in the next one bye